Hey, welcome back to another episode where you get to watch me build a Minimax 1100R. And uh, I wanna say a thank you to Flying Cub. And I just realized I don't actually know your name except just your YouTube channel. And I'll actually link uh, Flying Cub's channel right here. Uh, you'll find it, uh, you'll find an interesting channel. A lot of, a lot of good content um, there, a lot of flying. So um, anyway, I, as you know, the last episode, I was um, trying to think of how to deal with this extra eighth of an inch on the aileron and uh, he had a great suggestion to use my router and actually uh, remove. Um, you see that uh, we have a 16th inch ply on the outside. And uh, so what I'm gonna do um, uh, is uh, remove 3 16ths of an inch of this and then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add an eighth of an inch to the inside and then the uh, add a piece of 16th inch um, just like it has the ply here just because it's harder and the you know the the washer and bearing runs here so you want it you want a nice uh, nice piece of ply on the outside um, so that's what I'm gonna do first I'll route this out 3 16th of an inch and um, then I will put uh, a 16th inch uh, piece just like this back on there and then I'll go to the inside and I'll actually add uh, the same amount of material to get me back to a quarter inch on the uh, on the inside. So, and this uh, you know this gets this gets sheeted with plywood um, anyway. Um, uh, there'll be uh, it's just making sure there's plenty of strength because you know this is carrying the bearing load, so it's important that that doesn't change. I considered lots of things like like cutting here and moving this in but I really didn't want to uh, I wasn't as sure about a splice here as I am about um, uh, leaving this intact everything that's going on here and actually just removing it from here which is uh, I think can be accomplished pretty easily so uh, yeah so I'm gonna get the router out and get that set up with the bit and uh, and we will take 3 sixteenths of an inch off of this. All right. All right, so I'm getting, uh, getting the, my 3 sixteenths set here on my, uh, on my router. And so I'm just using a piece of a 16th ply and a piece of eighth inch ply since that's the material I'm working with. So that's the best, the best way to get this. Have a, just a, just a router bit um, uh, that also cuts on the bottom. Uh, and so we'll just undo this. The thing I like about this particular router bit, for one thing, it's fairly small, but also it's real easy to uh, real easy to adjust. Um, so just set this on here and uh, bring it down until we're touching the table here. So it looks good right there. Lock that in place. And we've got our 3 16ths of an inch. Just found a staple here. Now it's going to be hard to keep this. It's going to be hard to keep this flat against the. Uh, for the most part, I can keep my thumb on it, uh, so that I'm good. Uh, when I get right back here, it's going to be a little tougher to keep it completely flat, but I can get almost all the way, um, and I might even be able to get all the way if I'm really careful. And then when I get to the front, it's a little easier. I can just roll it right on around and make sure this stays nice and flat. 
with no problem. So, so I think I'll start with the start with the perimeter, and then just uh, work my way around there. All right, so what I did was uh, uh, decided that it was probably, it was in my best interest to leave uh, some of these little areas alone so that I could uh, just clean them up with the saw because I obviously I didn't have any more material to actually hang on to the, uh, the 3 16 uh, of an inch. So, uh, so I'll, just, uh, I'll just cut these off and then I'll be able to uh, sand this smooth and then we'll be ready to ready to correct this so all right working through it <sighs> all right so i got the uh i got the plywood made for the uh for the end here, the sixteenth of an inch, and uh, now I uh, I'll get that epoxyed on and clamped in place, and then we'll, when we come to the inside, we'll make uh, we'll make an eighth inch piece that fits around uh, fits around here to capture that, and then we'll uh, we'll fill um, from here from here all the way back. Uh, here with uh, an extra eighth of an inch piece and we'll do the same here we'll just fill this whole thing in add an eighth here add an eighth here um, and then we'll end up with our quarter our quarter inch there that we need that we should have uh, which will be uh, which will be good and uh, yeah that'll just give the additional you know, gluing area for the, the piece that attaches here. Since I took roughly a sixteenth out of that, uh, I guess it wasn't quite a sixteenth out of the eighth inch ply that's in here. Or actually, it was quarter inch ply. So I actually took an <laughs> took an eighth out of the quarter inch ply. We're just adding it back on the inside. I hope that makes sense. Well, you'll you'll see me uh, do it anyway. So. Um, yeah, and I think that will uh, that will be that will be good. That will take care of uh, everything. And then when I do the plywood on the outside here, 
it'll just extend an eighth of an inch beyond this rib so that everything looks the same. Uh, it'll be the same width as the plywood on the on the uh, uh, on the root side, um, so that there's no reason for it to look any different. So that'll be good. And uh, yeah, I'll get this plywood epoxied on, get, get it clamped in place, and then while that's uh, once that's dry, then I can start working on the uh, working on the inside. All right, cool. All right, so I've got this all all set up and curing, which is great. Um, that's gonna um, it's gonna solve that issue. Thanks again, Flying Cub, for that tip. Uh, and uh, I'm getting ready to put in. I've got I did get this uh, in place and have it clamped. Where, uh, where it needs to be. And I think uh, one thing I, I kind of forgot to do was to go in here and clean up this epoxy. So I'm gonna have to get that out of here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece in that goes underneath, underneath here. Uh, I've got it uh, over here. That's this piece right here. I'm gonna get some epoxy mixed up get this uh, uh, going and we'll get that clamped up in there and uh, yeah and I think that'll probably wrap it up for today but uh, it's got a lot done all right so this is full of epoxy now so I have to be careful feeding it up in here um, And I've got to go up through here. All right, so thanks for checking out the video today. Um, I, uh, I do appreciate it, as you know. And I've got, uh, uh, so this is, uh, this is getting set up here. Um, and uh, the next step, we'll be able to add some eighth of an inch material to the inside of that. Um, once that's done, we can sheet the leading edge. Um, this is, you saw me put this, this piece in over here, which, goes up underneath this plywood and gets routed out for the tank cover. And here the three quarter inch piece is already established because this, uh, this piece, um, the plywood is uh, already there and uh, this RS-17 underneath. So that's good. And um, then there's a cross piece that goes on here. And then there's a piece that goes across the front and then there's a, a brace that braces this tank area that actually goes over here 
on this side and so I'll get that as well but anyway um, yeah if you're not a subscriber I invite you to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss any of these videos and hey I'll catch you later